Hi, welcome back to the Woodshop Nerdery. A few weeks ago I released a video on how I create these project plans in Inkscape. Now I've printed them out and I need to start building. In this video I began building the Stickley Highlands bookshelf. I'm going to start with the 72 inch long posts, there's four of them, and that's going to present some interesting challenges for my hobby woodworking shop. I'm working with four four-quarter rift sawn white oak to make the four upright legs. These legs need to be about 42 millimeters wide, which is a little over an inch and a half. So what I'm going to do is rip these in half and then fold them back on top of each other to make a lamination to get the thickness I need. And since they're rift sawn lumber, that glue line should hide in the grain pretty well, I hope. And because I'm folding two pieces of wood on top of each other from the same board, it should be pretty good color matching as well. So I just got done planing down the high spots with this Tate Tools 5.5. And, and all I really need is it to be straight enough to ride against the fence on the bandsaw where I'm going to rip it down. This four inch joiner for my shopsmith is a great tool. Unfortunately, the bed's just a little too short to handle these 72 inch long work pieces. So I'm gonna use a jack plane to get one side as flat as I can. Then I should be able to handle the rest of the milling process reasonably well on the table saw and the thickness planer.
Well, here are the four posts milled to 42 millimeter inch squares and cross cut to 1930 millimeters. That's about 72 inches. I think they turned out quite well given that I had to do a lot of the flattening process with a bench plane. I think the riff song grain on these look really nice. I'm very happy with how they turned out. I do have a lot more work on these work pieces. They need sanding as well as the mortises cut. But I'm going to wait on those steps until I have the other parts, like this rough cut piece for one of the rails, milled up and ready to go. Well, that does it for this video, but I've got a lot more work to do on this Stickley Highlands bookcase. If you're interested in seeing how it turns out, please check back in in a couple weeks, and I'll have another video posted covering my progress. Thanks for watching. Bye.